Oh my God! Look at us there. So young, young very young. So beautiful. So much life, hair. Life is cruel. <laughs> Cover for the hurting. So we were kind of obsessed with this this idea of the child as a victim. I think there was an NSPCC there sort was. of thing. There was a little on. kid on the NSPCC, it, and, and we kind of took that. Yeah. And there was we. It was my neighbour in Lansdowne. It is your neighbour, who, who must be about forty odd. Yep, I follow him on Facebook. Oh my God, there you he, go. Uh, well, we became friends on Facebook, Gabby, and we just got him to sit in the studio, yep. exactly like the album sleeve looks, as a child who is effectively in pain or sulking, one or the other. I mean, I think it was Suffer the Children was probably the biggest influence I would have yeah. on that one. Mm -hmm. Look at us there, so young, young, very young. so beautiful. <laughs> So much life, hair. life is cruel. Right, so for Songs from the Big Chair, another iconic album sleeve, our initial thoughts for the Songs from the Big Chair were some kind of like a um, Juan Miro squiggle. So we had a whole bunch of artwork done uh, and it just seemed bad. It just seemed ir irrelevant. Yeah, and someone actually sent them to me recently. Oh, wow, there you go. Someone, oh. Dave, I think Dave Bates had them, and he, the, who, who was our A&R guy. So he's still time. speaking to you? That's good. No, no, oh. he didn't. So oh, he it? gave yeah. them to someone else who gave them yeah. to me. And yeah. they, were, they were very abstract and peculiar. I can't imagine songs in the big chair being that. And we did a photo session around that time, and I remember the holding the contact sheet in my hand, and that pic picture in particular leapt out at me. What I think is great is because it's our faces, and the title is Song from the Big Chair. You, do, you don't need to say any more. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it just stood out like a sore thumb. Wasn't there a Simon and Garfunkel thing that was kind of similar? Yeah, I mean, there's a, a couple of them. But I thought it was kind of, um, we have our pictures on the second album, because the, the first album didn't. It was good fun. And we got into a lot of trouble in America with our picture not being on the first album. Yes, and that's we true. We had to change the album sleeve of The Hurting for America, which became The Mad World. So. Exactly, yeah. The Seeds of Love. What a beauty. We were kind of all becoming a little bit more, um, less kind of sort of psychological, a little bit more spiritual, a little bit more political, big time into uh, astrology. So there's a lot of symbols like the sun, for instance, in the background there. There's uh, the yin and the yang mm -hmm. of the sun and the moon, which was another sort of lyrical theme that ran through the album. And uh, of course there's sunflowers, a little bit of Miro again, uh, yeah, and it was uh, the guy who... Um, the process was... Was incredible, was yeah. was amazing, because oh. if you look at the Seeds of Love album sleeve, you think it's all in... You would think it might all be in one dimension, but it's actually not. So there's a set built behind us. Our suits are actually hand-painted. In fact, I walked into them in the Hard Rock in Orlando. Um, came out of a hotel room and there they were in a case. Um, and then there's a piece of glass in front of the camera that's also painted. Mm. So it's actually at three levels of the set. Um, it, took, it took a few days, didn't it? It took a while, yeah. but uh, again, it was just a, a lovely day. I think there's some footage online um, of us actually doing the photo session and it's absolutely hilarious. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the tipping point, it's, uh, the, the name alone suggests so many things. Both Kurt and I independently saw this picture, this painting uh, by Cinta Vidal. Mm -hmm. Cinta Vidal. Cinta Vidal, and um, we said, that's the album cover. And it, it was really that simple. And so they said, well, do you want to do anything with it? Do you want to... Uh, maybe put yourselves in the picture, and we thought, okay, well, let's just approach her. So she was finishing up painting for this exhibition, so she didn't have time, but to be honest, we loved this mm. one painting anyway, so we were quite happy to keep it as it was in the end. Especially in the sort of animated, there's a few things we've done where it's actually spinning, which looks fantastic. We think this is the most authentic Tears of Fears album since The Seeds of Love. Uh, we're so proud of this album, and we're really excited for you to finally hear it.